Greetings. My name is Michael Berendt, and I'm the president of Dakota County Technical College. On behalf of all the faculty, staff, and administration, I would like to welcome you to this special virtual event. We gather to celebrate the achievement of our 2020 Dakota County Technical College graduates. You can follow along by downloading the program, which is available at dctc.edu forward slash graduation today. I would also like to acknowledge our faculty and staff for all the work you've, they've done despite the challenging circumstances. It is through their dedication to collegiate education and to support the learning needs of our students that today's event is made possible. In particular, I would like to recognize Judy Suddendorf and Andy Fink, who were nominated and selected as the Dakota County Technical College Instructors of the Year. A special thank you to our graduates and guests for joining us to celebrate this important event in the lives of our students. This spring has been a test, right? Unlike any other test you've faced. But our graduates have risen to the occasion and shown true grit and grace by successfully completing their programs of study. To our graduates, I want to extend congratulations on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Minnesota State Colleges and Universities System. Your hard work, your patience and perseverance have paid off, but there is more work to be done. We need you to continue as learners, as employers, and as engaged citizens throughout your lives. We wish we could celebrate with you in person, but know that we are proud of what you have accomplished and wish you the best in your future endeavors. Next, our Associate Vice President for Student Affairs, Ann Johnson, will announce this year's Dave Schroeder winners. Every year, a number of students are nominated by staff and faculty for the Dave Schroeder Outstanding Student Award. This award is named after the college's first president who served from 1971 to 1999. Students are recognized for their involvement and participation in college activities, high academic achievement, and their service to the community. Our first Dave Schroeder Award recipient, Abigail Anderson, was nominated by Amy Evenson and Anna Voigt. Abby graduated with an Associate of Applied Science degree in the Executive Assistant Program. She maintained a 3.76 grade point average in addition to being an exceptionally active student beyond the classroom, participating in Student Senate, where she served two years as secretary, member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, Campus Lions Club, Multicultural Student Leadership Association, and the Student Life Budget Committee. She also served as a student ambassador, helping out during new student orientations and campus tours. She received a certificate of completion from the Career Leadership Academy and is a Heart of a Leader graduate. Congratulations to our first Dave Schroeder Outstanding Student Award recipient, Abigail. Our next recipient, Sakshi Soneji, was nominated by Anna Voigt and Brett Colas. She graduates with an Associate of Applied Science degree in Individualized Studies. Sakshi achieved a 4.0 grade point average and has been actively engaged on campus and in the community. A 2018 graduate of the Oxford School of, in Dubai, Sakshi took on many leadership roles in the DCTC campus community. She served as a student ambassador, student senate secretary, president of both We Lead and the Campus Lions Club. She also belonged to Phi Theta Kappa 
and the Multicultural Student Leadership Association. She also served on the college's Alumni Advisory Board, Auxiliary Committee, and the Student Life Budget Committee. As a member of LEAD MN, Sakshi received the Mark M. Welter World Citizen Award and the Mark M. Welter 100% American Scholarship. She was honored at the LEAD MN 13th Annual Scholarship Gala in January 2020. Sakshi will transfer to Rutgers University, New Brunswick in fall 2020 to pursue a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Please join me in congratulating our second Dave Schroeder Outstanding Student Award recipient, Sakshi Soneji. Congratulations again to Abigail and Sakshi, your work on our campus and for your fellow students is appreciated. I'm honored to introduce the 2020 commencement speaker, Daisy Minura, to deliver the commencement address. Hello all. Allow me the time to thank the president of this magnificent college, Dakota County Technical College, Michael Barrent, together with the faculty, the staff, the graduates, and all who served in making this moment a reality for the class of 2020. And to all the viewers tuned in, thank you all for celebrating with us. Class of 2020, you've done it, congratulations. Through your commitment and hard work, you've demonstrated resilience and what a leap of faith can do. A wise man once wrote, when tough times come, you're only, have, you're only left with two options. You can either fight the waves or ride them. You can spend all your energy wishing things that were different or wishing that situations and people would change. You can spend your precious time fighting and all that is or you can let go and ride the waves. You can soften. You can accept that life brings waves. And some waves will be undoubtedly wonderful while others incredibly tough. The extra hours you put into studying, balancing between family and school, the tight schedules and maybe the tears along the way, the ability to adapt quickly with online learning through Zoom meetings in these abrupt times, you rode the waves. When you chose to stay up studying, or when you scrambled to submit your final thoughts on assignments before 11.59, when you went to the tutor's office undefeated, or defeated, or when your high expectations were shot down with an unexpected grade, regardless of these experiences, you pulled through. You rode the waves, but never alone. You all remind me of a true story that was once narrated by a prominent leader of South Africa. See, he was asked to speak in a conference, and he began to share his life story before he was successful. He worked, the bare, he worked jobs with bare minimum wages to support his family, which included the mom and the siblings. But he had an opportunity to take the exam. If he passed with flying colors, would guarantee him a scholarship in his choice of career. He excelled greatly and on that test and was offered an opportunity to study abroad. The young man faced a dilemma. As much as he wanted to attend college, he had responsibilities at home. So the young man was determined to find a way out. One early morning, he arose, journeyed to the nearest town. He went shop after shop, explaining his situation in hopes that someone would be willing to help. When he stepped foot in an Asian store, his life was to be changed forever. He asked for the manager. As they both sat down, he pleaded for help as he wanted to attend the university of his dreams. With no hesitation, the manager agreed to, to the family, to helping the family out, but in one condition. He would pay back the bills accrued over the years after he was done with education. Tears of joy rolled down his face as he thanked the manager and he was on his way. A few years later, he graduated and he was granted a well-paying job. 
He went back and said to the manager, where is the bill? I want to pay what you help them with my family. So I need the bill. Let me pay. Thank you so much for taking, for taking care of the family. The manager looked at him in the eye and said, I don't need payment. The only way you could repay me, repay me is to keep the chain going. Go and do the same. The prominent leader ended his speech sobbing, thinking I'm reminded of what had transpired 20 years ago. During your time here at DCTC, you had teachers, you had tutors, you had friends, family, faculty, and many others, those who were willing to support you along the way. It is important to remember, just like the young man, you did not get here alone. As you go on to even do greater things in life, I hope that you are reminded daily of those who are willing to support you along the way and that you may choose to do the same for others. That you may remember to celebrate as you ride the good waves and also to never give up as you ride the harsher waves that come along. Accept help when you need it and offer help to those who need it. I'm certain your time here has been one hell of a wave and you have all emerged successful. Again, class of 2020, congratulations. May God bless you all in your future endeavors and remember, keep riding the waves. Greetings and welcome to the very best day of the entire academic year. It is my great pleasure to recognize some of our students who have shown outstanding academic performance and made significant contributions to Dakota County Technical College this past year. First, we will honor our student senate officers for their work on behalf of the student body. This year's officers are President Daisy Myrura, Vice President, Vera Kaiser. Secretary, Sakshi Sanalji. Treasurer, Kaylee Partika. Campus Liaison, Effie Myrura. Campus Liaison, Draven Dougal. These students have served our college and students exceptionally well this past year. Congratulations, students. Next, we will honor our students who have excelled in their academic endeavors at the college. Phi Theta Kappa is an international honor society that recognizes academic excellence by students who are working towards a degree program. These students have done exceptional work in their studies and have achieved a grade point average of 3.5 or higher. A description of Phi Theta Kappa is printed in your program and these students are noted with a special symbol. You can find a PDF copy of the program on the graduation day page at our website, www.dctc. Edu. In addition, those PTK members achieving 20 hours of service throughout their academic year are recognizing, recognized with an outstanding service award and are honored by achieving a gold medallion. Our PTK members, thank you for your outstanding work. We are proud of you. Graduates with honors are those students who have earned a minimum grade point average of 3.5 as of the end of the most recent semester. Their names are denoted in the program with an asterisk. Congratulations to our students with honors. Graduates with distinction are those students who have earned a 4.0 grade point average as of the end of the most recent semester. These students are denoted in the program with a double asterisk by their names. 
They have distinguished themselves by earning an A in every single course at the college. Congratulations to our graduates with distinction. As a yellow ribbon campus, DCTC is proud to recognize our students who are United States veterans and service members. We appreciate your dedication and service to our country. In addition, we extend gratitude to all members of our military community who are watching today. Thank you for your service. At this time, I am honored to present the candidates for graduation to the college president, who will confer their academic awards. This is the time of the celebration we've all been waiting for, the presentation of candidates and the conferral of the degrees. Here, I affirm to you that these students have successfully met or exceeded the requirements of their programs of study as determined by the faculty of Dakota County Technical College and therefore are eligible to receive their certificates, diplomas, and degrees and all honors attached thereto.
at DCTC Grad Class 2020. You made it to the end. Shine on. And special thanks to my family, Dr. Felicia Ikebode and the kids for their unwavering support. God bless you all. Thanks. I want to thank all my professors for educating me and believing in me. I want to thank my family for pushing me to my highest potential and being there with me. Thank you.
Congrats to all the 2020 graduates. It's been a long journey and I'm excited to finally be here. A special thanks to my family who supported me while getting my early childhood and youth development degree. Thank you.
Thank you to everyone who has supported me throughout my journey and stay safe through these trying times.
Thank you. Congratulations to all the graduates of DCTC Class of 2020.
I want to thank all the vet tech instructors, especially those who put up with my bullheadedness over the last couple of years. Also, thanks to my family for all your support. I would have never been able to make this without you.
upon the recommendation of our faculty and with the authority invested in me by the Minnesota State Board of Trustees, I do now confer upon you the certificates, diplomas, and degrees with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. Your DCTC community will be here to support you as you start your journey. Continue to stay strong and we wish you the best in the days and months to come.